This is Roy, the Emblem of Binding. He is the fifth emblem and focuses on combat and survivability. You can use Roy from chapters 8 through 10 and from 20 through endgame, which basically means he's only there for the endgame. His passive stat bonuses are HP, strength, and resistance, and are quite substantial. Roy's engage attack is Blazing Lion, a three-tile wide sword AoE that creates fire terrain behind it. Unlike Sigurd's Override, which is very strong, this skill isn't as good because it's very awkward to aim. It also uses swords which have less might than other weapon types and struggles the one shot enemies. The fire terrain it creates can also cause you problems as it can also restrict your own movement, so you have to be careful when you use it, or it can ruin your entire turn. Roy's engage skill rise above temporarily increases his user stats as if they had level up five times. The stat bonuses are nice and can be substantial, but you can't really count them out being very consistent. Now let's talk about sync skills. Advance allows Roy to initiate attacks from two tiles away, closing a distance before attacking. And functionally, this is a conditional plus one move, but it's not that big of a deal. Holdout is perhaps one of the strongest defensive skills in Fire Emblem Engage, as it makes its user always survive combat if they started above a certain percentage of HP. In other words, it is conditional, deterministic invincibility, which is as broken as it sounds. It allows even the squishiest of units to survive hard-hitting blows and can make risky player face attacks into no big deal. It also effectively nullifies enemy critical hits and adds a safety buffer for many enemy phase tanking shenanigans, which is also very nice. And now his inheritable skills. Strength plus run through 6 are too expensive for what it does compared to other options. One of these options is Sword Power 1 through 5, which is a potent but pricey option to increase damage. And finally, his engage weapons. Lance Reaver is kind of pointless as his might is too low, and reversing the weapon triangle doesn't really matter. Worm Slayer is useless because Dragon Effectiveness is kind of bad in this game. And the Binding Blade is very strong, having good might, low weight, 1 to 2 range, which is very rare for swords, and not to mention bonus defense and resistance. Much like Emblem Roy, it is just a giant bundle of stats. Roy's Paralog is absolutely worth doing if you wanted to use Royal as a combat unit as it drastically increases his passive stat bonuses, in addition to giving you the Binding Blade. Overall, Roy is a combat emblem whose primary role is to give you a lot of stats and or holdout. The best ways to use him are either to give him to a melee unit so they can fight better, or to give him to a squishy unit like your dancer to give them holdout. I give Roy a holdout plus 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 out of 10. That's it, bye.